Attorney General Dana Nessel says she's ready to take action against the attorneys who filed lawsuits on behalf of the Trump campaign, lawsuits that have failed in Michigan and in federal courts. And that's just one of the issues in front of the AG heading into 2021. Our Mara McDonald live downtown tonight. Mara, you spoke with the AG tonight. Sounds like she's getting ready for a pretty busy year. Uh, yeah, Jason, starting off with sanctions against some of those Trump attorneys. She says that is a thing. Um, in addition to that, the everlasting drama over Enbridge Line 5. She would like to see that end in the new year. Take a look. 2020 was spent battling COVID lawsuits, election lawsuits, and fighting to shut down Line 5 in the Straits of Mackinac. And Nestle's office and the governor are committed to shutting it down permanently. This 67, what, 68 now year old pipeline that was never supposed to operate for even half that time uh, has outlived its lifespan and that it poses um, a distinct eminent danger to all of us in the state of Michigan, to our drinking water, uh, to our environment, and to the sanctity of the Great Lakes. Enbridge disputes that, of course, but also asks how the UP is going to get energy. And while the governor hasn't detailed plans of how to do a workaround, it's clear she thinks there's a viable option. Nestle's office has spent a good part of 2020 defending the governor's COVID executive orders and orders from MDHHS. She's hopeful that flurry of legal activity goes down as the vaccine becomes more readily available. And then there are the election lawsuits on behalf of or in association with the Trump campaign, which all went nowhere but generated a whole lot of work. Nestle is serious about filing sanctions. We absolutely, in many of these cases, will be asking for attorney's costs and fees. I mean, remember, these are tax dollars, right? We have a whole staff in our elections division that each and every time one of these frivolous, meritless cases is filed, they have to be defended. Now, we won each and every one of them. But why should you have to spend your tax dollars on that where they need to be spent in so many other ways? Back here live, when Dana Nessel was first elected, one of her top priorities was doing a lot of consumer advocacy and, you know, trying to do consumer protections. This year, while her office has done some of that, it has been caught up with all of the maelstrom of other things that they've had to deal with. She's hopeful there will be more consumer protection action in the new year. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you.